In this video I'm going to show you how to find the equation of an ellipse. The equations are in the form x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1, where a is where the ellipse cuts the x-axis and b is where the ellipse cuts the y-axis. The terms major and minor axes are to do with the shape of the ellipse. So our, we've got the major axes on the x-axis because that is where the ellipse is wider. So here is an example. We've got an ellipse. It cuts the x-axis at 5 and the y-axis at 3. And we know that the form of the equation of ellipse is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1, where a is where it cuts the x-axis, so a is 5, and b is where it cuts the y-axis, so b is 3. So 5 squared is 25 and b squared is 9, so we end up with the equation x squared over 25 plus y squared over 9 equals 1. So here's a second slightly more difficult example. This time um, I've given you where it cuts the x-axis and I've given you a point on the um, perimeter of our ellipse. So we know the value of a is 4, so that gives us x squared over 16 plus y squared over b squared equals 1, because we don't know where it cuts the y-axis. But we do have a point, so we do have some values that we can put in for x and y. So um, 2 squared is 4 and root 3 squared is 3. Now we can see that 4 over 16 is a quarter, so if we take a quarter away from both sides, we end up with 3 over b squared equals 3 over 4, so b squared equals 4, which means b equals 2. Now I've got the value that b equals 2, I can substitute that back into the original expression and I get x squared over 16 plus y squared over 4 equals 1. In the description below you can find a link to a worksheet that has questions that you can try on your own. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay in infield with Winfield.